Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the chemical preparation of aldehyde and ketone and now in this topic let me talk about the chemical properties of aldehyde and ketone. So in this topic we are going to talk about the action of sodium bisulfite on the aldehyde and the action of sodium bisulfite on the ketone. So what are the general reaction and what are the example? This is what I want to talk about in this topic. So now let's get started. <music> So friends, in this topic, I'm going to talk about the action of sodium bisulfite on aldehyde first. So now let us understand the general reaction here. Suppose if we have an aldehyde, generally we write it as R C double bond O H. And suppose if it reacts with sodium bisulfite, sodium bisulfite is nothing but NaHSO3. So the product that is formed is basically nothing but it is a sulfonic acid or a salt of sulfonic acid which we can obtain by understanding the reaction. So here we can understand that is the oxygen which is electro negative while the carbon is electro positive. While in this case what happens is the hydrogen which we can find in sodium bisulfite now this gets attached to the oxygen while the rest of the group that is SO3 Na it gets attached to this carbon atom. And that is how the product that is what we could obtain is this one. Where we could find that is the product consists of R, C, O, H and this is the H. That means what I am trying to say is that is this R, C, H, this group was already present in the aldehyde. While here the O, H it gets attached and here basically S, O, 3, N, A gets attached here. So basically what I want to try to say is the product that has been obtained is nothing but it is a salt or it is a sodium salt of sulfonic acid where we could find that is the OH is attached to this carbon atom. That's the reason the product that is we have obtained it can be called as a hydroxy sodium salt of sulfonic acid. So this was the reaction of the aldehyde with sodium bisulfite. So based on that, let me give you an example. Suppose if we consider an aldehyde, that is acetaldehyde, CH3, C double bond OH, and suppose to which we are reacting it with NaHSO3, that is sodium bisulfite. So the reaction proceeds in such a manner that we could obtain a sulfonic acid but the reaction is reversible so in that case we could find that as the H plus it gets attached to the oxygen which is negative charge and rest of the Na and SO3 they get attached to this carbon atom thereby the product that is what we could get is CH3 COH H and here basically it will be SO3 Na so what would be the name of the product? Here we can find that is the OH is attached to this carbon atom and suppose if we consider this carbon atom as carbon number 1 and this is carbon number 2 so therefore the total number of carbon atom here is 2 so therefore we could call it as ethane but it will be nothing but sodium salt of ethane sulfonic acid to which the OH group is attached that is the hydroxy group is attached. So here also we could say that is it could be called as 1 hydroxy ethane sodium salt of sulfonic acid or we could also call it 1 hydroxy ethane sulfonic acid and since it is the sodium which is attached over here it can be soluble in water and that's the reason the product that has been obtained it is basically crystalline in nature so therefore this was the product that is what we have obtained when Ever the sodium bisulfite is reacted with an aldehyde and now let me talk about the next reaction. So the next reaction which I am going to talk about is a reaction of the ketone that is R C double bond O R to the sodium bisulfite that is NaHSO3 and again this reaction is reversible. So the reaction is very much similar to that of the previous one where the H plus it gets attached to this oxygen while the rest of the Na and SO3 they both get attached 
to the carbon atom over here and this is how basically the product that is we could obtain is R C O H R and this is SO3 and a again the product that has been obtained it is a hydroxy sulfonic acid but this is obtained with the help of the keto so based on that let me give you the example suppose if we consider the ketone that is acetone that is CH3 C double bond O CH3 to which basically we are adding NaHSO3 and the product that is we could obtain is CH3 COH here also there will be CH3 to which to this carbon atom SO3 and a will be attached so therefore this is nothing but a hydroxy sulfonic acid that is what we have obtained over here and since the numbering it can be start from this carbon atom 1 2 3 so therefore we could call it as 2 hydroxy and this sulfonic group that is SO3NA or sodium salt of sulfonic acid it is attached to the second carbon atom so therefore we could call it as 2 propane sulfonic acid and this is how the product is and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe eager channel thank you so much